One of the things is the online learning. When I was coming up, there wasn't a lot of options, especially free, but now you have Udemy and a lot of these websites, you might see courses that are listed with a price tag or certification programs with a price tag, but there is a way to get some for free. You just have to know where to look. So I'll show you how to do that as well. And the great thing about just taking a course is you can get your feet wet and you can figure out if this is really something you want to do. Now don't get hung up on the terminology because I allow that to scare me away from working in tech for a long time and end up costing me. So I don't want that to happen to you. So just take one course, complete the pop, complete the project, see how you feel about it and go from there. So that is something that definitely helped me along. I took my course at a community college and because of that, I was able to take advantage of the resources that the college had to offer. So they had job fairs, networking events. And so that leads me to the next key thing that helped me, which was networking at these events. So by going to these events and talking to people, your objective isn't necessarily to get a job. Your objective is to figure out what's going on in your neighborhood. Now, you might be looking at remote work, like, well, I want, if I'm going to go through all this, I want a remote job. Let me just tell you, let's start a step at a time. Remote jobs tend to be for people who have a high skill set, and you can be along that path, but I started my path by starting local. Now, I do receive job offers, companies promoting remote work, but that's not how it started. So. Go to the events, talk to people, find out what's growing in the neighborhood. They may be able to share with you that there are certain tools, whether it's coding, certain coding languages or cybersecurity or other technologies that are growing might catch your eye. And if you're not a hard technical person and you don't want to code all day, that's fine because there are plenty of jobs like mine. I'm a programmer analyst. So that's a combination of uh, being a developer as well as being a business systems analyst. So you may be able to find a role, I call it a hybrid role because it is not a dedicated developer. But you can use your background, especially if you have a background with working with people, sales, customer service, you can go into customer success, you can go into systems analysis, business analyst, data analyst. There's a variety of roles there. And I started with um, a technical analyst role because I was able to leverage my background working with people. So that may be something for you to consider there. By talking to people, you definitely want to figure out what's growing and what's going out as well. Because the last thing you want to do is spend your time and money learning something that's out the door. And so as you start to learn those skills and you take those free courses and maybe you find a discount to take a, a course or certification program, then what you want to do is start highlighting that on your resume. For a long time, I really didn't know how to make my resume sound less boring and less generic. I finally had some people look at it and as much as it hurts to have somebody critique your resume, I guarantee you are going to discover something that wow light bulb goes off i didn't know i can say that i didn't know i can rephrase it that way so what you can do is look at some of the job posts maybe like a business analyst and look at the skills there you might discover there's a lot of similarities between the skills that they want and some of the skills that you have such as the people skills and problem solving skills teamwork collaboration communication and those are things that you can just enhance with your resume and so a great tool you can use to help you with the resume writing if you don't have any anybody to look over your resume or if you don't have the money for resources is uh, chat gpt which is like an ai personal assistant and it's a program and I'll show you how to use it and it's very simple to use and what you can do essentially is upload your resume or copy and paste the words in your resume put it in chat GPT have it scan it and then put the job post that you want have it scan it and it'll tell you the similarities and help you with come up with ways to use more data driven action driven goal oriented words and language in your resume to help it stand out. And so now you can update your LinkedIn with that information, with the skills, with the new resume terminology, and as well as take advantage of LinkedIn Premium. That's another service. LinkedIn is free and LinkedIn Premium 
is a paid service, but they, there's usually a free trial. Once you update everything, you can take advantage of that free trial. It might be a week or a month long, and you might be able to have some people look over. So reach out to people in the roles and companies that you're interested in and have some of them critique your resume. Some people will be happy to help other people get into the field. So maybe they may not have a problem. You might have to reach out to 10, 20 people and express your interest in wanting to get into the field and just ask them for their opinion, scan over your resume, look it over and see if they can give you some feedback. And even if they can't, just thank them and move it along, okay? Don't get set on that. Now that you've updated your resume, now you wanna look at, make sure you're highlighting your transferable skills. Especially if you've closed deals in sales, business to business, um, again, with the customer service and resolving issues, you wanna be able to just highlight the fact that you um, helped improve the retention and the customer service satisfaction and how you've been able to make a difference in that sense. And if you have some supervisory experience, if you've ever had a team of people you had to look over, there's training there. So now you help train people, you help articulate the business goals to your team members, and you were able to implement new systems and so forth and lead a team towards achieving certain goals. That's something you wanna highlight that's transferable. And then you can look at roles in tech hybrid tech roles such as project manager, scrum master. Those require some additional certifications if you want to stand out from the crowd, but it's something to take into consideration if you have management experience. And so now those roles can easily pay beyond six figures. Don't miss out on that. Definitely don't let the tech words and terminology scare you away from a big come up as far as your income is concerned. All right, now going back to ChatGPT, when using these prompts, you want to be specific. You want to talk about where you are, your region, your skills, the company, and then you want to tell it to highlight local jobs, especially those hidden jobs that are not posted on Indeed and LinkedIn. The uh, two companies that I ended up working for, tech companies, they were not posted on LinkedIn and Indeed. And there are plenty others in education, nonprofit, public sector service, transportation that do not post their jobs. And so you could be missing out on a lot of different job offerings that are out there because you're solely looking at LinkedIn and Indeed. ChatGPT can help skip all that, avoid that, because you're gonna tell it to give you a list of job titles in your local neighborhood, for these skill sets that are local to you have certain skill sets that are not posted on major job boards, small, medium sized companies, nonprofit, public sector, healthcare as well. So these are all companies that you can easily move into, okay? If you want me to go into further detail about some of the things I discussed, let me know and then I'll dive deeper into any one of the topics to discuss. During this process, you're probably going to feel like you still may not be able to get it. When I was learning, there were times where I was up late studying and I was like, gosh, do I really want to even go through this? I'd rather go to sleep. <laughs> but the mindset is very important. You have to believe that you can get through it, that you have the skill sets and you have to have faith in yourself. I do have a video covering some of the things that helped me along. And looking back now, I can package that into a few key areas of my mindset that I had to change and evolve in order to get through some of those late nights, some of those doubts, imposter syndrome, and thinking that maybe this is not for me, maybe I'm not gonna get through this, or am I gonna go through all this just to face a tech layoff? You may wanna check that out. There's a link to that in my video here, and you can look at different mindset shifts that I did to reinvent my career and tell me more about what you're looking for specifically, and then I can dive deeper into that, okay? I hope you found this helpful and you're able to take away something, especially the chat GPT prompts, because you can do that now, you can do that today. You can just go in there and start looking. All right, so I hope to see you in the next video.